Alright guys, so we're back under the Subaru. Um I have some of the bottom pulled out. Um so to explain here while we're under here, um the parts you're gonna want to pull out. Um I've already pulled the exhaust. It's three bolts on both sides at 14. Uh, millimeters as you come back there'll be a another one another 14 and then where the two coupler themselves uh, 14 and a 12 the 12 is the one you want to turn you want to hold the 14 in place um, when you get that then you're gonna come over to the automatic transmission lines they come on the bottom I plug on one side with a bolt and then the ones on the radiator with rubber hoses all the way across. Take off your bottom radiator hose, one here, and I just put caps in them so they don't leak all over the place. Don't forget to undo your O2 sensor connectors at the bracket on the bottom, which is going to be pretty much all the Subarus. All of this is pretty much all the same. Um, whether you're turbo or non-turbo, um, you can follow pretty much this uh, order of things um, for any of them through early 90s to the later ones. Um, you don't have to drop any drive shafts or anything like that. We're not taking the CV axles out. Um, I told you... Uh, I told you I use a flex head to pull out the 14s, um, which is this one right here. Um, that way you don't have to take out the CV axles and whatnot. You can pretty much reach all of them. Don't forget you have, I didn't undo the bottom starter one when I was up there. So I took the bottom one off, which is a stud that's a 14. And behind that, a lot of people forget, there's another 14 uh, screw that holds the transmission to the motor. And then right under that, there's a 14. And if you snake under here and look, there's this 14. And then, of course, the nutted 14 that sits on this one. And that's the same on both sides. So I went through and pulled as much as I could. Um, don't forget your electrical connectors for the uh, cooling fans on both the driver and the passenger side. Um, when I drained the radiator, I pulled this plug right here. It's a big fatty Phillips. You can pull it out. I used a drain pan on our extended oil catch and just set it up there and let it drain. Then I took it off and I drained the ATF lines. Um, into the actual oil, capped them off. Don't forget your motor mount bolts either. On the bottom, there's 14 with two washers or a washer on both sides. One on this side. And then we come around and you'll see another one right there. Um, don't forget, and this last thing I'm gonna do is pull your 10 millimeter grounds. You can pull them from either the block or the motor. I usually pull them from the motor and just let them dangle. Um, the same thing with the ATF lines. I just tuck them back up into that hole there. Um, trying to make sure we covered everything. I think we're good, so. Alrighty guys. Uh, the next one I'll give you is back up to the top and wrap that up up there and then she's ready to pull out the nice thing about this you can do this you can do it one of two ways either you can start at the bottom and then go up or you can do vice versa um normally i would start at the bottom um do all of this and then go to the top that way it's only up and down once so alrighty, we'll talk to you in a few